Hey guys, I've been asked about the current status of my family and asked for an update. This is not exactly the update that everyone's wanted to hear that I've reconciled with the family and I go see them every so often. Because it's really not. I don't see my family, as a matter of fact, I talk to them very, very rarely. And that's a very common story with a lot of transsexuals out there, be it trans men, trans women, or even the homosexual community at large where the family just disowns them. And I'm just gonna give you a rundown of the family members that do talk to me. My mother and father talk to me about once a month. And that's just a check in and see how I'm doing. The only family member that actually does check in on me and does care about me is my cousin Steven, who is currently heading to Iraq and is unable to contact me. And outside of him, there is no family member that really cares. My brother hasn't talked to me in almost five years. The last time he talked to me, he said he wanted to kill me. And then he said that I can't see his daughter. So be it. I don't have to. I have my aunt and uncle who think that I'm a blasphemy against God. And as such, they want nothing to do with me. Okay, I can see that. They're religious. And neither one of them have a real good education. And that's another thing that bothers me about my family is that their unwillingness to educate themselves on what transsexualism is or even what homosexuality is, they just want to follow a Bible. Something that's written by a man, something that's written by many men actually, that has so many false statements, so many contradictory stories and contradictory, contradictory themes that it's as if it was written out of stupidity instead of out of godly intelligence. So. That's where my family is, and I don't really agree with them. I don't have much to do with them. So I've created a new family of close friends, and truthfully, family is where the home is. My home is currently in San Antonio, although I am going to be moving eventually. And with that, I have to look at it that way. I have some really good friends, I have some really good people that are, are as close to me as family that I love and adore. And truthfully, they are more of a family than I ever had with my own original family. And that's how you have to look at it. If you don't have a family, look around you. You really do. You have friends that care for you, friends that will be there for you. And at the time, they can become just as much a family as your real family was when you were growing up. So always look at it as a positive. Even though you don't have much of a family, things can change and things will get better even if they don't come around. Just hold on to the people that care about you and want to be there with you. As time goes on, that new family will grow and become just as good, if not better, than your original. And with that, I'm going to let this video end. And I'm hoping everyone's having a good day and I'll see everyone later. With that, Goodbye.